up everybody, it's Jacob from over here at Tines of CNC. I'm gonna be going over how simple it is to get your automation up and running with our Robo Drill and our LR Mate. And before we get started, just make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you can follow us for more. So to start off our automation process, we had to begin by looking at the part that we were gonna make and what jaws we can put in our machine vise and what fingers we can put on the end of our gripper to make that system work. So we began with our engineer, Billy, who 3D printed us some models for both our fingers on the end of our gripper and jaws for our shunk vise that is in our machine. The shunk vise is a pneumatic, so we needed something that could go onto that to hold our circle. And we also needed fingers on the end of our robot gripper that could hold our raw stock and our finished stock at the end of the operation. Once we realized that our prototype 3D printed parts worked for both our pneumatic vise and the fingers at the end of our robot gripper, then we could move on to machining something out of aluminum that was a little more stable and sturdier for our process. So the process that we started with that you could as well with your automation work cells is picking up a part from point A and getting it into your machine, into your vise, which is point B. And that's exactly what we did with our LR mate. We took our blank stock, put it into our machine, clamped it with our pneumatic vise, closed the door, had our part running. Once it was done, our servo door could open back up. We could go back in, take a finished good out of the machine and put another one in and just repeat the process. And I know one of my favorite things about being a CNC machinist is using my creativity to solve the real world problems that you'll come across in your daily job shop. And one of the problems we had here is we didn't have a specific jaw for a pneumatic vise to hold what we wanted to hold. And the fun thing that happens after that is you get to create your own. You get to come up with an idea to solve that problem. And that's exactly what we did. Hopefully I showed you guys in this video, even if you don't have robots in your machine shop right now, it's so simple to get it in there, getting it, picking up a part from point A to point B and just loading your machine. Cause that's what you really want these things to do is take away the simple things from your life so you can focus on the bigger and better things ahead. And if you wanna take those next bigger and better steps, make sure to keep watching for our new automation videos that'll be coming out.